Hey guys, it's me again, Dershin. Welcome to my channel. Um, today we're going to be looking at night driving in the Model 3. So it's currently 12.01 a.m. Uh, midnight. Uh, so I just finished work. Let's see how Model 3 handles night driving. So we're gonna take a look at the headlight. Um, autopilot and uh, several other stuff so yeah let's drive so right now it's actually rendering all these cars around me uh, in the parking lot so that's pretty nice so the other feature that I love is it will show me how close I am to the uh, the curb, which is really nice because I need to get really close to scan the card to get out. And some people like the sound, some people don't like that beep beep sound. Uh, in version 10, there is a uh, Joe mode. Uh, it's coming soon. Also, I have Netflix, uh, YouTube, new game. Uh, Cuphead uh, and also um, some other new features including advanced summon which I cannot wait to get uh, because I have full self-driving it's going to be just phenomenal um, so I'm driving right now in this road it is not main road yet um, it's showing me all the path and it's even me it's even just allowed me to go into autopilot for a second give me that steering wheel sign and let's watch it Whew, you gotta love that every single time even though the charge is at 188 it just goes so let's turn on autopilot right now it goes to its speed limit it's turning right now it's kind of dark the light, there are lights, but it's kind of dark, and there, right in front of me there's this bike, a uh, guy on the bike, and it's recognizing him. Uh, so in, in the daytime, everything else is going to be gray, and then the main thing that the car is following is going to be dark. Uh, at nighttime, everything else is going to be dark, and the, fo the one that's following the, the car is following is going to be light. So currently it's following that bike showing me in light color, light green. So the speed limit here is 60. Again, uh, it's offset to 10, so it's going 70. Uh, but it's also following the guy in front of me. So whatever speed he goes, it will go that speed. If he goes under 70, it goes to his speed. If it go, if he goes over 70, he won't go over 70. My Mod 3 is gonna go 70. So it's really nice that it recognize that as a bicycle. I mean, a bike. And right beside me, there's a, a semi truck. Also renders that. Also renders that. Uh, uh, SUV right there and the Jeep over here it's renders as an SUV uh, it says press the accelerator pedal to resume cruise control sometimes it does that it's um, I don't know why it does uh, that but sometimes it just do uh, maybe version 10 uh, software will fix it uh, I'm still waiting for my version 10 Elon please give it to me I have full self-driving purchased I don't know why it's taking them so long but uh, yeah, so I'm again keeping my hand uh, on the steering wheel just in case. There's another stop sign. Let's change lane. Let's see how it changes lanes at night. I'm doing a phenomenal job. No problem changing lanes at night. Does a great job. Um, about a month and a half, month ago, uh, or like three weeks ago or so before I gotten my software update uh, right now I'm on 2019.32.2.1 uh, it 
So I'll be on autopilot and try, try to change uh, to the left lane. It wouldn't let me. It will always, um, right, changing lanes from left to right is fine, but changing lanes from right to left is impossible most of the time. It just won't do it. Uh, but I called Tesla and Tesla said, it's a software issue, we'll send an update. And they did. And uh, for, for a couple of days it seemed to work, but then the issue returned again. Uh, but um, they sent another update, like after two more updates, it's just fine. So right now, I'm gonna put the signal, it's just turning that way, no problem. And uh, it shows that lane, so it's really, really good. And, uh, one more thing, if you have any issues on the screen, you can report that, not by pressing this button, you can just press and hold the, the, the car icon, press and hold that, and then uh, it will send a report. So this is how it works. So you're gonna press and hold, and then it says thanks for your feedback. So that's pretty cool. Right now the speed limit is 50, just change it to 60. So it's again, sees that uh, a biker in front of me and those two SUVs, but one is a Jeep. But, yeah. So nighttime driving, it's pretty good. Uh, when the area is not lit properly, it kind of struggles a little bit, but again, the headlights are amazing. Um, these are LED. Um, the daytime running, see that? This guy just, he came, put the signal on, he's coming into my lane. It took a while for the uh, car to recognize that he's coming, cutting into my lane. But um, it slows down in time, so no big deal. So yeah, they bought the headlights. They're amazing. Um, I remember I was dropping my brother off to school and I was coming back, it was morning. Um, this guy stopped me in front of me, like he was parked and he, he was like, oh, your high beams are on. And I'm like, wait, what are you talking about? Like, my high, I didn't adjust them, uh, my headlights or nothing. What are you talking about? And turns out, just the daytime running lights were on. And he thought those were high beam because they're so bright. And I don't know what their max lumens are, but they're extremely bright. The headlights won't pivot like uh, Model S and X, uh, the high-end models. So in Model S and X, whenever you turn the steering wheel, it turns the headlights accordingly, but in the three, it, it doesn't do that. But it's still, the, the beam itself is wide enough that uh, it's perfect. And I turned on the fog light, it's always on for me. I just like the look of it. Well, the backup camera, it's really dark. If I look at look look at the back through the uh, mirrors or like just turned around, it's kind of dark even though there's uh, street lights, but the car sees it way better. It looks like midday instead of midnight. So that's really nice. The thing that autopilot I think uh, is should get a little bit more better um, is that whenever it, it comes to a complete stop and get going, it kind of it's kind of delayed. I wish it could be a little bit faster of uh, acceleration. Um, it's just me. Uh, I wish uh, you could just change that in the settings. Hopefully they add that also. They have much more bigger thing to worry about than this little issue. But yeah. So the water per kilometer is just unbelievable right now. It's at 100, no, 104 water per kilometer. I'm on autopilot. Of course the AC or heater is not on. So I'm gonna have to take uh, out of autopilot. I'm changing intersection. Yeah. So water per kilometer is amazing. 
uh, when I left my workplace, um, it was at 189 kilometers of range. Now it's at 183, which is really good. It's pretty good. Um, I was on autopilot the full time, and uh, right now it's claimed that I've driven 9.5 kilometers. Let me put it back on autopilot. And uh, it, says, uh, it has 183 kilometers of range available. We've only lost about 7 kilometers, which is incredible. Um, it's partly because it, it's partly because I'm going down slow instead of uh, the elevation is down instead of up that my that that has something to do but um, still my commute to work never exceeds um, the the actual distance it always under let's say my commute to work is about 12 kilometers to 15 12 kilometers I would say it's always less except during winter time the winter time that's a completely different story the range is you just forget about everything so I'm currently going through a drive-through I know it's midnight but if you crave Tim Hortons, I mean, nobody's gonna blame me. see the mirrors fold when I went through that drive-through uh, because it's really I, I need to get really close to the uh, uh, that window uh, so what I do it's a it's a tip for you for y'all is that whenever you go through a new drive-through just go into your settings and uh, fold mirror always so you go into your car icon and you go fold mirror you click on that and then on right beside that it will say always press that so every single time you go through that drive through it will always fold your mirror when you get to the location which is just really useful um, I don't know how many times uh, people try to you know go close to the um, thing but uh, the, the window of a drive through but scared that they're gonna damage or hit their mirrors because mirrors are sticking out so much. Um, that's a really useful tip. So if you go through a drive through next time, try that. I know it's a little annoying to set it up for every single drive through, but you might have your regular drive through that you go through every single time to get coffee in the morning. So you just simply press this and you press full mirrors, Run below and say always like three three touches it's nothing so yeah that's a little tip so guys that's about it for this video hope you like it if you love this video please hit that like button and if you don't like it hit that dislike button and uh, I'll be making more of these kind of videos drive me driving around and showing you little features here and there and also uh there's something special coming next week something that i really want to fix in this car it's, drives me nuts so t stay tuned for that uh, hopefully i get it delivered by this week so i can make that video happen and uh subscribe if you're not yet uh every week i'll be dropping new content and uh also use my referral code if you're about to purchase a new model 3 or model y place an order for it 
please use my referral code. I'll leave that down below and on the screen right about here. And uh, yeah, that's about it for today. Uh, hope you all have a great day and uh, I'll see you on the next one.